Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Demon Slayer Mugen, Mugen Reshahen, the anime, episode number 5. Okay, the previous episode, um, Tanjiro came out of the dream, was able to break out of the dream and Inosuke was also uh, able to come out by the end. So they are confronting the demon on top and we need to actually break all the others out of the dream, their consecutive dreams as well. For example, um, Zenitsu and Rengoku. So yeah, after that we know what's like, you know, people who have seen the movie know what's going to happen and we are going to see probably the fight between Rengoku and the demon in most probably this episode, I'm not sure, or probably the next one. So we're very close to the seven episode mark. This is the fifth episode. So two more episodes after this, which will end um, the Mugen Reshahen. Then we're going to start the second season, which is Entertainment District Arc. So they will have to complete this within these these three episodes. I'm not sure how they're going to do that because the pace in like you know the pace at which this is going, it feels as if it needs more than seven episodes to complete it. I don't know how they're going to do this. Like this is almost the fifth episode, and we still have not seen the second demon. So I'm not sure how they're going to do this. Like the pace is very nice that's ongoing you know up until this these five episodes but i feel as if uh, like you know to complete this within uh, three more episodes they need to actually increase the pace which probably will i don't know like i'm feeling it will kind of uh, mess the balance up because it'll probably get a little fast paced after this i'm not sure let's see let's just check this out let's see how much this episode covers then we'll see like you know like if everything is wrapped up the first part is wrapped up in this episode then i think they'll be able to properly conclude this arc uh, because two more episodes will be left and i think it's enough to actually like you know showcase the next demon and show the fight and then the conclusion in the final episode so let's see well, how this episode goes and yeah so yeah without further ado let's get started this is uh, demon slayer Mugen uh, the anime episode number five so yeah, I'll be putting some credits and the timer here. Take it to whichever is your preference and let's get started. Alright, here's the countdown. 3, 2, 1. Alright, here we go. Yeah, it's not that easy to kill a demon, especially a lower. Okay, all right. Why are they giving a recap? Like, this is a recap. We saw this in the previous episode. Like, I can understand for normal animes, but this already has a movie, so... Anyways. Alright, here we go. Well, in this case, it's going to <laughs> pop out now. <laughs> I like how Nezuko's burning completely. <laughs> uh. All right, there he is. He's still in his dream. So, <laughs> oh 
Oh my god. Yunusuke just woke up and he's like... He thinks as if it's the con continuation of the dream and he's like, Oh, follow me minions. We're going to defeat this train. Well, um... <laughs> thinking about it now, um... Yunusuke does fight the train. Like, the, the demon is fused with the train. So Inosuke's dream came true, I guess. You know, like, his... <laughs> he always had this dream of fighting the train. So now he can. <laughs> Damn. I wonder if the... I don't think so. I was thinking like if... Oh no. Okay, never mind. I was saying like, I wonder if the animation will change when the second demon comes. You know, usually animes kind of do that. It changes the animation slightly. But now that I see this opening again... Yeah, like we see the demon already in the opening. So there's no need to change the, anim uh, the opening visuals. Anyways. Alright, here we go. Boy, everyone's asleep and... <laughs> it's just like, hell yeah! I can fight the train now. <laughs> uh. All right. <laughs> Hold on to your knees. Yeah, but... Oh, okay. Well, oh no, the tra oh yeah, the train derails, doesn't it? I can't remember. Something happens, I forgot. Yup. All right, high regeneration power. Are you going to burn them down? <laughs> oh my God, what the? Man, let's go. Oh yeah, she's growing. Okay, there you go. Ooh. Damn. Oh. My God. Oh! Oh no! Uh, 
Uh. All right, Zen, so there you go. Whew. <laughs> oh boy. Damn. Like <laughs> Wow. He's <laughs> still in his dream. <laughs> uh Well Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, Rengu was still not up. Okay. Yeah, and they're like passengers there. He can't even use his um breathing technique. Oh, there he is. Nice. <laughs> yes. Well, he'll one shot this whole thing. Oh! Well, <laughs> yes, there you go. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, well, that's what you get for being cocky. The demon was so cocky, he was like, oh. <laughs> yeah. Eight cars. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, first find you know skip. <laughs> uh. All right. Google. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. All right. Oh yeah, he has a uh, um technique. Well, obviously, like like a head. It must be in the front. All right. <laughs> looks looks weird from the outside. <laughs> the whole train covered in these weird stuff. All right. Okay. This <laughs> poor guy. Wait, he was. Wait, he was awake. Oh. 
Oh, he's also probably okay. One of them, I know who promised him to, yeah, who promised him that to let him sleep or whatever. Okay. <laughs> oh. Oh my God. Oh no. Yes. <laughs> Weird noise. <laughs> Underneath, okay. Yeah, it's just... Damn. Eh. There you go. Slice. Okay. Ooh, this looks nasty. Oh my god. Wait, this guy, just a sec. Yes, teamwork. <laughs> yeah, but I'm the boss. <laughs> I'm the boss, mind it. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god, he's up to no good again. And he needs to kill himself again. Oh, oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh my god. Ah! <laughs> just just put your hands on your oh that uh, that's difficult, you know? Oh no! He's mistaking Yeah, he's mistaking reality for dreams. Yeah. Loser I was. True. Oh my god, here we go again. Oh. <laughs> just, just. Mm. Mm. Okay. Oh, nice.
All right. Uh. Yeah. Oh. All right, here we go. Okay. Wow, beautiful. Look at that. Oh, yes. Uh, oh, my God. Oh, I've never seen a train jump like that before, you know, like Oh my god Oh, that's oh my god that ended abruptly All right, so I still don't know how they're going to make it like Two more episodes left isn't it like how are they going to conclude it without increasing the pace? Like, there's still a lot, not a lot, but quite a few things left. Like, like if, if this whole, um, you know, this, this thing, this demon was wrapped up in this episode, it could have still been done. But we still have something left to do. Actually killing the demon and the whole confrontation with Rengoku is still left. You know, like, so I'm guessing in the next episode, it'll take half of the episode to conclude the whole thing with this demon. And then the next demon will come in the next half. And probably the final episode, which is episode seven, will be the confrontation with that demon and the conclusion of this. Won't that be a lot fast paced than the way this is going? Like up until now, the pace was quite nice. It, it was a pleasant pace. But I feel like they need to actually increase the pace now if they actually conclude it within seven episodes. I'm not sure how they're going to do it, but we'll see. Whoa, what is this section is supposed to be happy? Why is this so sad? Hmm. <laughs> <coughs> what is happening? Oh my god. Nezuko became a Jojo character. <laughs> um. <laughs> oh, there she is. Where's the Where's the mouth mouth thing that she chews? <laughs> there you go. All right, he's going to come next episode. All right. Um. Just oh my god. I'm... <coughs> Excuse me. Oh god. <laughs> Uh, okay okay th this episode um it's kind of the conclusion oh my god i'm uh, i'm sorry <laughs> just sneezing uh i got a cold so yeah uh, anyways so okay this episode here um we are almost at the end of this whole section Mm, I thought they were going to uh, 
conclude this within this episode but they did not um which is okay i guess but i feel like they need to actually increase the pace the next two episodes if they actually plan on in, uh, in concluding this within seven episodes so okay so this episode um we get the fight inosuke uh tanjiro versus um the demon and rengoku is helping uh protect the passengers so is nezuko and uh, zenitsu and um all right here we see uh okay where is it so obviously uh zenitsu is asleep he's he works best when he's asleep and now you know like um seeing this i kind of wonder sometimes like i'm sure there will come a time when Zenitsu will probably master this whole thing so that he's able to fight while he's awake. I'm sure this will happen probably in the future in the manga. I'm, I know the manga is concluded, but uh, I try to keep myself like, you know, I don't uh, want to spoil myself. So I keep myself far away from the manga <laughs> and anything which kind of like, you know, uh, gives us future information about stuff. So I'm not sure what happens, but I'm pretty sure there will probably come a time when Zenitsu will be able to fight when he's actually awake. Now, I'm kind of looking forward to that because, uh, which will probably obviously come in the way in the future. I'm kind of looking forward to that because I feel like Zenitsu is probably one of the strongest characters. Like just look at him. He just... <laughs> He just like slashes everything in the lightning and it's so fast and everything like I I, I, I don't know I, I feel like Zenitsu like mm, It's probably on par with Tanjiro, you know in Like you know with his his sleeping uh, the whole thing where he what he does when she's sleeping and I f Sometimes I kind of feel he's even stronger than Tanjiro. I might be wrong though, but I feel like that so obviously the main uh what do you call it uh the main down factor here is that he can only that do this when he's asleep <laughs> so i'm sure there will uh, you know in the future there probably will uh, a time will come when he will have to uh use this technique when he's uh, uh awake and i'm sure he'll do that he'll probably do that in the future so i can't just uh, i can't wait for him to actually like you know master his technique when he's uh, awake because he'll be he'll be too strong if he's able to use this when he's like you know it's awake and everything so yeah anyways um that's something different but yeah we see here like you know them saving and protecting the passengers um rengoku wakes up rengoku is uh, like you know talks to inosuke tells him just to go and help tanjiro and he talks to tanjiro as well tells him to just go and find the weak point and he'll uh, handle the rear five car uh, cars of the train so yeah and he is his the uh, uh, rengoku is so fast he can just keep moving from one car to another and just keep protecting the five cars by himself so yeah now uh, tanjiro and oh uh, we kind of see nezuko getting into a little problem but yeah zenitsu <laughs> saved her uh, and that was good and then uh, we see the next scene where Tanjiro and Inosuke we obviously get the fight where they find out the weak point which is the head and yeah now obviously like as I said before uh, parts of this movie uh, that I saw I forgot for example when I saw the um, the person you know the uh, the human there um i kind of forgot what he did so like you know in the movie i'm talking about the movie i kind of forgot what he did in the movie what part he played in the movie so yeah as soon as i saw him i was kind of thinking like like is this guy what does he do you know is this guy like uh, actually try to attack us or something i kind of forgot and then when we see in the end where he kind of tries to go and attack tanjiro uh, not tanjiro um uh, inosuke i remembered oh yeah he does this so <laughs> yeah so bits and pieces i've actually forgotten completely 
But yeah, now the the thing that he like you know stabbed them with, uh, what was that like? Was that an ice pick? I think so, something like that. Like, um, <clears throat> Tanjiro got hit by it, but I'm sure I think it probably I'm I'm sure it probably uh, missed the vitals, and yeah, I'm, I'm sure Tan Tanjiro is fine because yeah, in the in the movie as well he was fine. Like this thing does. Or was he? I can't remember. Anyways, you know, he gets injured, but it's nothing that much, I think so. Because, yeah, we, the main thing that we had to do is defeat the demon. We are able to do that. Now, <clears throat> now, the thing here that the demon tries to do, obviously, is trick Tanjiro into making him, like, you know, he was making him fall asleep so much that Tanjiro for a time there was unable to actually uh, distinguish between dream and reality. So he just picked up his sword and decided to slash himself while he's in the real world. Like, <laughs> like you know, like those type of, uh, what can I say? Like, um, like <laughs> I remember, I, like, I'm sure a lot of guys, uh, people played this as well, like a game we used to play where um i don't know like you know like we used to put out our hands in front and used to slap them and um then like you know like like uh, what can i say like i can't remember but it, someone used to kind of slap it repeatedly and sometimes like you know we used to take our hands off and because of the momentum and <laughs> you know the inertia whatever you call it um used to hit the thing which is underneath our palm like that kind of thing i don't remember the game particularly but it was something like that like you know because of the momentum and inertia we used to do that now <laughs> it's kind of like that here i guess the guy that the demon that he did the thing that the demon did was he was actually putting him into sleep he's waking up he's putting him into sleep he's waking up like you know putting him into sleep he's killing himself and tanji is waking up and he does this repeatedly then suddenly I'm sure he did this. He probably put him to sleep. Tanjiro wakes up, you know, by killing himself, and he does not put him to sleep the next time. And since Tanjiro is doing this like in a momentum where he wakes up and he falls asleep and he kills himself, because of that momentum, he didn't even realize that he is not asleep now. The demon has not made him fall asleep. So he basically picks up his sword and tries to kill himself because he thinks that he's in a dream, but he's not in a dream. So that's what I was actually trying to tell by the little game uh, example that I took. You know, like, <laughs> because of the momentum, like, Tanjiro also, like, made that mistake. And I have to say, that's kind of intelligent for the demon. Like, you know, to use that trick to try to kill him, uh, kill Tanjiro. But, yeah, uh, Inosuke was there and uh, Inosuke helped him out. And <laughs> now, so Inosuke's, um, what is that? That thing that he wear, wears, the mask. Um, so it's like a... <laughs> so the, the eyeball that we see there is probably something made of... I don't know, something. It was, it's not his own eyeball. It's something else. And I think it's, it probably has a hole or something through which he actually sees. That's why, um, like, the demon wasn't able to make sure what uh, Inosuke is looking because the eyeballs that he sees is actually not his own eyeballs. His actual eyeballs is underneath that. So he can look in this direction, but kind of peek in this direction. Like kind of like sunglasses, I guess. Like if you wear a sunglass, you cannot understand where the person is looking. <laughs> so yeah, that kind of helped uh, Inosuke out. Um, yeah, now that I'm looking at his mask, yeah, obviously that's not his actual eyeball. Like what if I, what was I even thinking? <laughs> <laughs> that the eyeball that the mask has it, it has a little hole i think and yeah he kind of looks at it from there so yeah anyways okay that that really helped uh, yosuke break out of the spell because he was not asleep he was not in a dream and he was able to help tanjiro out and yeah then we get the uh, teamwork and the teamwork attack Inosuke and Tanjiro. Inosuke slashes, uh, slashes off the 
upper muscles or whatever that was covering the spinal cord i think that's the spinal cord yeah the spinal cord bone and tanjiro slashes the spinal cord in two and damn like the end when we see like you know like the the demon screaming and in a fit of rage it suddenly like you know tries to strangle all the passenger did that happen in the actual movie or is, is this like an included extra scene i don't remember um anyways um we see like you know him, him actually trying to strangle all the other passengers but rengoku is there like yeah he just like slashed everything into pieces and the train jumped like damn like, you know like a, like a train i've never seen a train jump so yeah like that was insane like you know the train completely jumped and it just derailed and and just uh you know like fell down now here's one thing um i never thought about this before you know but this whole derailing thing that happens in the train i i don't know like how are the passengers okay like sh shouldn't wouldn't they be shouldn't they be injured or something like I remember in the movie they did they show off what happened to the passengers. I think the passengers were fine, weren't they? So uh, I can't remember. But yeah, but I I feel like they they should have very what can I say like got heavily injured. But I I feel I think uh, probably Rengoku and all of them were there, so they probably saved them from getting hurt. I'm not sure how they did it, but probably it was them that helped them out but yeah like now now that i think about it like that that jump that it took like you know like the the, the train completely jumped out of the uh, rail track and yeah like the passengers in there i'm sure during that jump half of the passengers would have bashed their head on the train and like you know their head could have just like you know started bleeding then and there so yeah like i i'm not sure what happens there but I feel like none of them getting any injuries. I can't even remember. I'll talk about this in the next episode, you know, because I can't even remember if they actually get injured or something. Like the movie showed this, but I can't remember that portion at all. So, um, yeah, like damn, like <clears throat> like the demons, the the demon devils weren't able to harm them. But I feel like the accident was probably, you know, like injured them quite a lot than we think but yeah anyways okay that was that and that's the end so i'm, I'm guessing the next episode we'll see the the next demon the next demon will come the more problematic one this this demon is kind of a <laughs> like not that much of a big deal but the next one oh okay um all right i can see this you know like i the thing that i was talking about that i i was saying that uh, during the accident you know like when the train jumped what happened didn't the uh, passengers get hurt because of that accident but now that i'm watching i'm watching this i can see nezuko kind of clinging to one of the girls because you know of the impact that's going to come and another thing i kind of realized is that the train is filled with this weird muscle muscly thing you know of the demon so I'm guessing even if someone bashed their head, it, <laughs> the the muscle thing would have cushioned them, and I think that's how they were able to, like you know, they weren't injured that much because, as I said, like you know, probably Rengoku was also trying to keep everyone safe, and you know, like the muscles also kind of acted as a cushion. I think something like that happened because the way the train jumped and derailed, I'm sure most of the passengers would have been badly injured for that. So yeah, I think they probably like, you know, like as we see Nezuko kind of clinging to the little kid and there was these muscles and everything here and there hanging around. So even if someone bashed their head, it would, they would bash their head on the muscle and nothing would happen. Not much injury would happen. So yeah. Anyway, so yeah, that was it. The next episode, we'll, we're going to get to see the next demon who is a more problematic one. So yeah and let's get ready for the climax because we all we all know what's going to happen and it won't be easy <coughs> so 
all right and okay the, the ending scene of this episode was hilarious where we see nezuko like you know muscly nezuko with a butt chin <laughs> uh, oh my god that was funny and yeah all right that was it guys so that was this episode this was episode number five of team of sam mugen reshahin the anime if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll definitely check them out and that's it guys so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next week with another episode of demon slayer mugen reshahin the anime so until then goodbye and have a nice day